Process excellence restrictor number two. We don't see all work as a process. All work is a process, and all processes can be designed, measured, and improved. Philip Crosby Do you see all work as a process? The first business and performance improvement book I ever read was Quality is Free by Philip Crosby. It was given to me by one of the managers at my first employer, a small toy manufacturer. This was in 1981, and over the years, I learned to both embrace the zero defects ideal Crosby presented and come to cringe at the attempt some companies made to actually pursue that goal as if it was attainable. And it is if you make your definitions of defects quite forgiving, by the way. A forgiving defect definition, however, won't get you to process excellence. Most of us know that simply saying the words, we want process excellence, won't work. What we are more prone to say than actually do is embrace another thing Crosby said. All work is a process. It sounds logical, but I suspect that many more people will tell you they agree with this statement than they will actually practice it. If you doubt me, look at where most organizations direct their process improvement efforts, at the hourly people on the front lines. It is a rare organization, and usually a high performer, that directs its performance improvement expectations at all work processes, including those executed by upper management. This is a somewhat explainable, albeit not understandable, situation. We have become fascinated with headcount reduction as a cost reduction and performance improvement strategy, when actually this approach results in a dead goose over time. In other words, the direct return, fewer people, seems obvious. But the residual impact, lower morale, lost talent, poorer customer service, higher defects, is much more difficult to measure. Additionally, direct labor, the group we usually focus on, often accounts for only a small percent of the total cost mix. Attempting to do more with less will not get you to sustained levels of process excellence. Treating all work as processes that can be systematically improved will. What do I mean by the phrase systematic process improvement? Read on and listen on. That's the focus of this section. What is a process? A linked set of activities that are designed to provide a product or service for customers within or external to the organization. It's the classic SIPOC diagram. Suppliers, inputs, process, outputs, and customers. How many key processes do you own? The leaders in most, if not all, high-performing organizations will tell you that they see all work as a process, just as Crosby told us to many years ago. They might also tell you that if you want to improve performance, you first have to define what needs to be improved. Process flow diagrams, value stream maps, and key process definition blueprints are three tools that help you visually define what you are currently doing each day. They can also be used to define what you need to be doing each day, the ideal state in other words, in order to meet and exceed the expectations of your internal or external customers. Process or Workflow Diagram Flowcharts or workflow diagrams show the steps, decision points, and inputs and outputs that make up a given process. Value Stream Maps these big-picture versions of a process flow diagram are often site or customer-specific in focus. One value stream map contains multiple processes. Process Definition Blueprint This table helps you define your key processes, their customers, the requirements of those customers, and the key measures that should be used to gauge your progress in meeting those requirements. In this book section, we will look at some basic steps that can be taken to help you better see all work as a process. Using the examples that are provided, you will then have the chance to begin using them to better define and then refine the key work processes that you are responsible for. You will also need to look for ways to use these practices as time goes by to identify where process improvements can be made to reduce process waste and increase the amount of customer value your processes provide. It sounds simple, but keep in mind the fact that most people don't have a process focus. They prefer to do what they've always done 
and expect better results. Unfortunately, work just doesn't work that way. All work is a process. Work equals people spending time and money to make money. As we stated on the previous page, one of the key beliefs that separates high-performing organizations from the rest of the pack is all work is a process. In other words, these organizations recognize that all people in their organization come to work each day and execute one or more processes to produce some form of results. Because everyone in a company has some form of process responsibility, their work can be measured and unfortunately also contains waste. Waste is a cultural problem. Being waste-free is not a habit of the common workplace or our society for that matter. Plus, nobody's perfect. The processes you regularly perform may not have a short cycle time. Developing improvement plans or projects involves processes that often take days or weeks to complete. Training sessions and meetings are also processes. They involve following a repeatable set of steps. But their effectiveness is often not measured or tracked. This does not mean, however, that agendas, training course syllabi, project plans, or meetings are any more or less waste-free. The degree to which any process is waste-free depends on the focus of both the process owner and other process participants. Because people who are getting paid to work perform processes, all processes have a cost. The bottom line is that process improvement tools and concepts can be used by anyone to take the waste out of the processes they are responsible for, whether those processes have a short, medium, or long cycle time. How excellent are the processes you are responsible for? Can you demonstrate the impact that the improvements you have made to these processes have had over time? How many processes do you own? How many processes exist in your organization? How do you spend the time and money each day that you are responsible for to better meet the needs of your internal and external customers? Mm -hmm.